So welcome back to part two. It's May here with Crafting on a Budget. So as you can see, I have my doll body parts stuffed. Um, and I just got to get polyfill for the other head. Ran out. But as you can clearly see, I have just enough to at least make one of them. Here's the head. Um, it's pretty packed in. Um, you, if you take like a paintbrush that's rounded and I prefer something rounded that's not going to pierce through um, your fabric. Just kind of move it in and pack it in really good. You want it to be kind of firm in there. Now um, you have your opening here and then you have these opening. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your needle and I'm using a cotton thread um, and I'm going to do a gathering stitch around the um, bottom hole of this doll head. So you can, this is going to be a big doll. It's pretty big. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it, it's big. So I'm just going to go in about a quarter inch in and then do a running stitch all the way around and I'm going to gather it. Um, you want to make sure that um, you have really strong thread. You don't want anything that's going to break when you're trying to pull. Um, but you definitely want the strong thread to join these pieces together. One more thing I want to show you guys too is that I stitch around the arm, around the elbow area. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to try to carefully, without tearing it up, pull. That's why you want to make sure you got good thread because you don't want to pop your thread. Pull it. So you want to gather it in really good. So right there I need to get another stitch. Oops. And once you have it nicely gathered up, make a couple of knots in and tighten it up. And I am off camera, I apologize. I have a beautiful Nani here sitting here reading to me. That's what you guys heard a few minutes ago. Alright, so I'm just going to make a couple little stitches here and a couple knots um, just to secure it in place. Just, just so that it doesn't pop in. That's why you want to go in about, I would go in about 3 eighths of an inch in. Um, when you're doing your running stitch, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't go a quarter inch. I really don't want to do that. Once I've gathered it up, then I'm just going to make a couple knots and tie it off. And just make sure it is not going to go anywhere. So 
here is where I'm going to go in and make a couple of knots. I just did a single. There he is their head and then the next thing I'm going to do is um, make sure I get really good knots. I want to make sure that this stays in place like we don't have anything opening up. I really don't want that to happen. We're done there. So there's your head, and you can kind of gather it up, or kind of soften it up, get it shaped up how you want it. You know, your head's gonna go like so on the body. So, again, I like to do like a, an invisible stitch, and I'll show you what that is. So basically, you have your crease here from your neck, right? have to have that crease in there. You're going to go into that fold. That folding crease right there. Bring in your little knot. Grab your head. So basically that's going to go in like that. And I got to make sure I am comfortable, so that's the front, the front of the body. Let's see, which side is there? Okay, this one. Yep. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, into the crease fold. It's harder when you're on camera. It looks like the ladder stitch, see that? But a little bit more. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it all the way around because I'm gonna stuff it, uh, stuff that neck a little bit more. Go back in here. 
So when I get to a point where I can do that final stuffing for the neck to make it form firmer, I'll do that now. Let me go back into the stitch, the stitch, the stitch. <laughs> the little crease hole, see it's folded open. Let's see how it looks. There's that little fold right there. Your stomach is growling, child. It is growling, guys. And let me go back here. Just going right into that crease. And then we'll go fold it right there in that crease and then. Um, Remember, we gotta leave enough so that we can go in and fill that neck, make it a little bit more stable and sturdy. Go back in. You see what I mean? Where it, there's a fold right there. See that? It's folded. Go into that little crease. get to the point where I am going to get ready to kind of stuff it in that little spot that I have. And remember your place because now be, when we, I come back I'm going to go into that. Oh, and I don't have any more stuffing. Oh Lord. Oh, oh wait. I can take some. I was working on the boot. I changed the boot around. As you can see I went around here, here, here. Put the so we, we can we can borrow that in the meantime because we're not really using that right at the moment. I forgot we had that there, so perfect, perfect. These little round paint brushes are perfect for this. So yeah, I changed that. I made without, with the exception of the, my little threads, this is where I put the uh, one inch around. I just want to make that neck a little bit more stable to hold that big old head. I need your little doll here has a big head. You have a little head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lance does have a big head. Big head. Tinkerbell has a big body and a small head. Aw, she's right there. She looks like um Beetlejuice with a big body and a small head. Aw, don't make fun of You see, you can see where I creased it. I fold in. What I do is I fold in. See right here, um, without it being folded, it looks like that, right? You don't want it like that. You want to make sure you get a nice, good crease. Fold it in, nice like that. And right in that fold is where you're putting those stitches. Okay. So I'm making that neck really nice and sturdy by stuffing it really good. 
can use your paintbrush or whatever to kind of get it into place if you need. Oops, did that just break? Almost. Yeah, I decided it, it, it made more sense to put that one strip on the boot. So, I knew how to perfect it. And let's see. There we go. So, I'm going to put a little bit more in there. You want to make, you want to make it really nice and firm. That, that's important. And the arms are going to be the same thing. We're doing that invisible stitch with the fold right here. The, you're going to fold these in. Fold that in, you know, put a nice little crease in there. And then those, oh, those are the legs, but they'll go in here, right down here. Okay, same thing with the arms. And I just use um, this crochet cotton. That's what I use for the thread. It's a little bit. It's a little bit more um, stronger than your sewing thread. You might want to try upholstery thread, but you still want something that you're going to be able to pull when you pull. You're gonna be able to do it. Okay, so that's that's pretty good, tight right there. Put one on here. Left off, we got to go into the crease. You can also put like, um, if you want the head to be, um, you can put a stick in there in the center and pierce it from the head down to the body. Um, okay, that one was supposed to go in here. I forgot it was lucky. Um, but that would give it more stirred, uh, make it more sturdy. You don't see the stitches if, if you do it that way. It makes it more invisible. Makes it more invisible. Put an invisible um, ladder stitch. the head attached in and you pull that in really good make a knot
go to the back, take it all the way to the back. That way my knot is not so noticeable in the front, you know? And everyone has their way of doing these balls, but that's just my way. Into the neck and kind of secure it. And if you have an easier way, just comment below. Tell me how you do it. It's always a good way of learning, you know. We always learn from each other. Might go in again. No, they're not in my final one. Did you fall asleep, child? Future assignments, then? Because we'll tell my head out for the night. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, so here's the head. And just remember, she's going to have some clothes on. So um, it's not going to be as noticeable. But that, that hidden little stitch there, it kind of hides her head and the stitches. It's not as noticeable. Um, the next thing that we'll do is that we'll take um, the, let's see, I, have enough. I should have enough for the arm. Let me show you the arm. You have your two shoulders here. Again, I'm gonna fold because um, I want that hem, that crease from the fold. We need to, you know, and you could probably take this down to your, um, I'm going to probably take it to my, um, oh, that's what I meant to show you, is that I take, I took my arm, I stuffed it up this way, halfway, and then I stitched it with the sewing machine and then stuffed the rest. So that way we have a crease there. Um, there. I'm going to take it to the, iron and then press that down just so I can get a good nice crease there. And this kind of helps keep that crease a little bit more visible for me to see. Turned off. Helps if you have your iron is on, guys. That helps a lot. Okay. So a little crease then, just a little. All right. So that's going to go like that right there on the shoulder blades. That's the tip of it. And 
I'm going to make a knot on the end of one here. And I just kind of do one strand. And I'll do one arm. And then the rest I'll do it off camera. And then all I have left is I'm going to uh, do a part three of... Take it into where your crease is. It's going to go like that in here. It's going to be a little hard for me to do this. It's hard to do it on camera. Let's see, maybe I can do it this way. Yeah, let's do it that way because I'm right handed and so. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to attach the body part and then I'm on to 26 minutes, sorry. Um, got it in and then I'm just going to go into these little creases, back in through the body. all the way around until you have the arm stitched in. Just a nice pull it, see? You really don't see the stitch. And just keep going all the way around the perimeter of the arm, going from the body to the crease, and just do it all the way around. Again, body. And then don't forget, if you need to stuff more at this point before you completely seal it in, if you feel that you need to put a little bit of more polyfill in there, go ahead and do it before you seal it, seal the deal. Put a little bit of polyfill if you feel like, you know, it needs a little bit more. And then, again, it's always body increase, body increase. little ladder stitch and a little hidden stitch that it's not as noticeable. A couple years ago, I was so into making these dolls, and I had gotten my first, not my first, but my first brother, Runway, um, 
sewing machine because I got into making these dolls. And, you know. Now, if you have a long needle, what you can do is you can often go here, stick the needle through, and pull it out this way. Um, my needle is not long to do that, but sometimes you can put it right in through that right there and it just stick it right through there. And I might be able to get away with it. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes you can. With this needle, I'm not sure. My needle's not long enough. If you have the long, long doll needles, um, you want to take it through that all the way, stick it out, and it kind of tightens it up really nicely, um, and it secures it a lot better in place. Um, but I don't have those long needles right now. So... Take the stitch to the bottom so I, I'd rather have the, the knot at the bottom, you know? And it kind of tighten it, pulled it all the way through. The next doll that I have, I'll find one of those really big needles that I'm the doll maker's needle. I had them for my flowers, but they got little burrs on it, so I don't know. It cuts through my thread. The burrs. Okay. We'll snip it there. So ideally what you would want is you would really want one of those long doll needles and you'll stick it through here and bring that needle out through this shoulder and that way you can just attach the next arm and it kind of locks it in place in other words. So that's it. I'm going to do the same thing for the legs and the other arm and then all we have left is basically attached this and then I'll take some coffee and some other stuff and I'll do that on the next video and then we'll start decorating her and painting her and making her more realistic. So I hope this helped you guys out. So stay tuned for part three of this video tutorial. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button, share, and leave me a comment. Till next time guys, God bless. Bye-bye.